Week number seven is coming to a close. A lot of buys this week and weather delays, so it's been an interesting one. You can check it out on our scoreboard at FridayNightThunder.com. Dennis Weaver, Josh Peterson, Brian Markham, and Hayden Prophet. Rob Clutter's around here somewhere. Who knows where? And we're going till 11 o'clock. Phone lines are open at one 396 We go to the Oak Restaurant Hotline. Coach Thomas McDaniel, the head coach for the Oakland Patriots, joins us on the phone. And I think we cut him off uh, earlier. Uh, coach McDaniel, I appreciate you getting back with us, my friend. Thank you for having me. How you guys doing? We're doing good. A good big win tonight. A tough. Uh, I, I know that uh, you you run the risk of getting injuries in tough games, but those are the kind of playoff games that that build character for the playoff run, don't they? Yeah, and I think uh, you know there's there's a lot to learn from tonight. Obviously, I'm just. I mean, I think I'm not. I wouldn't say that I'm happy right now. Uh, that I don't. I don't think we played up to our expectation of what we'd like to be. But that being said, you know, kind of like what you mentioned, we. We uh, we found a way to win. That's the most important thing. We won ugly on an ugly night with bad conditions, and uh, I thought we did a good job of keeping our composure uh, and uh, kind of staying focused on the task and not uh, pointing fingers or letting the pressure get to us. I really thought we never got panic mode, and um, you know we found a way to win, so that was encouraging. Yeah, and you're beginning to get a little bit healthier, I think, coming out of the the the, the tough early going in the year. But uh, your field, did it? Uh, how bad did it get injured tonight? Uh, uh, well, you know, uh, honestly, uh, it, it, other than the sidelines, it didn't. It, it held up fairly well. I mean, we'll know better early next week, but um, it didn't. See, it drained a lot better than I thought it was going to. The, the interior of the field is pretty thin due to the winter kills from. Uh, this last year, but uh, you know, I, I was I was actually surprised it did better. I thought Dennis Weaver, Josh Peterson, talking to Co- Coach Thomas McDaniel on the Oak Restaurant Hotline. Coach, you know, it, it, sometimes uh, you know coaches hate to get out of routine and and get into to you know situations like you had this week where everybody's kind of on fall break and nobody else is playing. How you know what, kind of describe that challenge and how you handled practice and things like that this week keep your team focused because it wasn't that you just had a game but you had a game against a very tough opponent in Baylor yeah I mean we've, we've had to do that uh thanks to the team of the Malays <laughs> playoff system the last couple of years uh with the um you know overall wins being one of the number one factors uh we, we had a hard time finding games and um you know it's kind of a commonplace for us now four years in a row we've played on fall break but that being said you know I had somebody earlier ask me you know, is it hard to get kids there? Um, it's not been an issue at all. I mean, I think, um, again, th- I, we had a great week of practice. Uh, the kids were in a uh, good mood because they got to sleep in and they didn't have to be at school and all they had was football practice. So it's it's really kind of refreshing and uh, it's pretty easy because it's pretty simple. You don't come to practice, you're not playing. And so, um, you know, for the guys that decided they needed a week off to go to Orange Beach or wherever, they they, they got that vacation plus tonight off and they'll get next Friday night off, off too because I'm not going to let them go with us next week so um, you know we got a commitment level that we expect and I think most of the guys understand that and uh, I think we have 100 kids on our team and we probably had you know 14 kids that had issues getting to practice and so um, you know again they understand what we're, we expect and it's just a normal week to us without a minor school. <laughs> I love it. I absolutely love it. How's, uh, how's the ginger bandit doing? Is he doing okay? It's good, man. We did a good. I mean, we had a great uh, defensive plan. Coach White and uh, Coach Gardner, Coach Hartsfield, and Coach Caldwell uh, all did a, a really good job. And uh, it's just one of those games, man. They got that big quarterback of Mississippi yeah. State commit, and uh, you know, not really knowing what they were going to do coming into the game because of the conditions. And our, our defense played really well. I think we gave up two first downs in the second half. The only disappointing thing. Uh, was we dropped three interceptions, and uh, we gave up uh, we gave up a, about a sixty yard touchdown pass with time running out in the first half. Other than that, uh, you know we played extremely well on defense. So he, he's doing good, man. I'm sure he's in a good mood. Yeah, I bet he is. Uh, well, good luck uh, uh, in. Uh, sorry you didn't get more of a break on on fall break, uh, and good luck in your preparations for Laverne next week. Okay. Well, I appreciate it. Thank you, guys. No, no letdown. It's district week, buddy. No, no doubt. Take care. All right. Thomas McDaniel, the head coach for Oakland, he uh, epitomizes intensity. He uh, he is really intense. No going to the beach. No going to the beach. I agree. I agree.